So it's March 3rd, and I've already finished two out of the six books on my March TBR. Today I finished Delirium by Lauren Oliver. I like how you can see the camera guy in her eye. So let's get into what Delirium is all about. Basically, they live in the United States, but it's a dystopian United States, and in the city of Portland, there are gates surrounding it so no one can get out. They basically treat love like an STD. If you have it, you're infected, and you're a terrible person, and when you're 18, you get cured. So they basically plan your life out for you. You go in and take this evaluation and they ask you stuff like what's your favorite color, what do you think of Romeo and Juliet, and depending on your answer you are given like a match and other stuff. There is no free will. So Delirium follows the story of Lena Holloway. At the beginning she was about to go in for her evaluation. She pretty much screws it up and says that her favorite color is gray and they're all like, what? And she goes on this tangent about how it's the color of the sunset. So basically she screwed it up. Lucky for her, these cows come in. That's when she meets the love interest. For the record, the love interest is not a cow. I was cracking up during that whole chapter. So she gets to redo it and it basically just goes on about her and how she figures out what is really going on here, how everyone is brainwashed in this society. Nothing is how it seems. Dun, dun. The way the society is set up kind of reminded me of the uglies. I just mean like with the procedure and how there's gates and everything is like separated. When you get your procedure done, you are not human, you're just a robot. You do whatever the government tells you, you are with your match, and you're not in love with your match, you just live with this person, have children with this person. It's a terrible world. If you have your procedure done, like earlier on, they found out that it's kind of failed. So of course in your pubescent years, you're going through all that stuff and they just keep warning you that love is a disease, it will infect you, it will eat you alive, until Lena falls in love. She starts realizing how everything is not really how it seems. I said that already. So let's get on to the review. I'll start out with the cons. Holy freaking boring. It's not the story, it's just that the author goes on so many tangents. Flashbacks, and the sky was blue, the grass was green, that was two sentences. Lauren Oliver thinks it needs to be two pages. It was way too descriptive. Whenever anyone said anything, she would go on this thing where it was like, oh, this reminds me of the time that I was at the beach and we were kicking sand at each other. This reminds me of how I'm just a girl in the middle. I'm only 5'2". I'm nothing special. I mean, don't get me wrong, the story and what happens, it's all good. I just got really distracted. I would pretty much do everything else on my to-do list before I read. I did a school paper a month early. A month. I never do that. And everyone had pretty much told me that it was kind of boring. I didn't have the highest of expectations, but I had also been told that at the end it's like the cliffhanger to end all cliffhangers. So I just wanted to know what was gonna happen. If I could skim books, I would have. It was kind of a mix of uglies and matched. I haven't even read match, but how match sounds. And it was kind of interesting how the whole government had a thought of love as a disease and who came up with that? Obviously someone who didn't get around a lot in high school. I'm not saying Lauren Oliver didn't, I'm just saying whoever thought of that in the fictional world. Like, it's not a bad story, it's just hard to get through. I would probably recommend it for audio, but be prepared to tune out. It has its intense moments. There was probably about six or seven chapters that really had me going, and three of those were the last three. But other times I was just like, is this really necessary? It was 441 pages and I think it could have been about 300. But of course, the character development is awesome. There's just too much. It could have been shortened. The thing is, when you look back, you think about just what happened in it. And then you're like, well that was amazing. But then when you're trying to get through it, it's just... It's, it's just okay. Like it has its really intense moments and it had me flipping pages at times. And those times kind of make up for the boring parts. The first half is extremely boring. The second half pretty much just goes on and off. It leaves you with a good impression. So if it's on your TBR, don't take it off because it's actually really good. Just 
be patient with it. There was definitely a lot of stuff that I didn't see coming and I was just really interested in it for a lot of the parts. It's just the parts where it's rambling and rambling and Lena won't shut up. Overall, I think Delirium had an awesome concept and story and it was a huge cliffhanger. I thought it was actually pretty good. It was just really hard to get through. The whole time I was reading it, I was kind of like, this is gonna be a two star, but at the end, it just really picks up. But that's not good because when you just make the ending interesting, no one really wants to get through the beginning. And I talked to a friend who was reading at the same time as me, and she just put it down. Her words were, life is too short to read this book. I personally cannot have something on my bookshelf and have it defeat me. I can't do that. So I'm going to give Delirium by Lauren Oliver three out of five stars. It's not bad, it's just boring. And something tells me the sequel, Pandemonium, is going to be a lot better. But I'm not going to read it anytime soon. By the time the year's over, I will. But I just, I need a break from this. Also, if you guys want to see like the best book review of Delirium ever, I saw a review by Rebecca Reads Why A Fic. She is hilarious. I loved her review. She goes on her own tangent sometimes, but it's like hilarious and awesome and so entertaining. So I'll put a link to her review down there. And my next review will be on Speak by Lori House Anderson. I've already finished it, so yeah, I'm going to film that now. So I will see you guys later. Bye.